Hi, welcome to our channel, thank you for choosing us for watching. Please don't forget to like and subscribe for more videos. Today we are going to talk on nouns, their types, how to change a singular noun into plural. Our aim is to help you improve your English. We would be proud of, if we hear that our videos help you in this way. So please help us by giving a like and subscribe. Let's start our today's lesson. Noun, a noun is a word that is used to name people, places, or things. Examples, John, London, Penn. John is an intelligent student. London is a beautiful city. Have you seen my pen? Types of nouns, common nouns, common nouns are the name of people, places, animals, or things. Examples, actor, lawyer, man, aunt, baby, soldier, and teacher. Usages of common nouns, common nouns used for animals, bird, cat, dog, horse, chicken, fish, shark, and parrot. Common nouns used to name places, shop, library, park, beach, zoo, mall, and hospital. Common nouns used to name things, bed, bicycle, carpet, computer, chair, and desk. Proper nouns, proper nouns are the name of particular people, places, or things. Proper nouns always start with a capital letter. Examples, Lisa, Paul, Harry Potter, John, Mike, and Robin Hood. Name of the countries and their people are also proper nouns. For example, America, Egypt, India, American, Thai, and Italian. Proper nouns, the name of cities, towns, buildings, and landmarks are also proper nouns. For example, New York, London, Berlin, Brooklyn Bridge, the Eiffel Tower and Big Ben. Proper nouns, the name of days of the week and months of the year are also proper nouns. For example, Saturday, Sunday, January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August. The names of festivals, special events, or holidays are also proper nouns. For example, Valentine's Day, Halloween, Christmas, Mother's Day, and April Fool's Day. Concrete nouns, concrete nouns are the name of physical things that we can touch them. Examples, chair, apple, building, girl, pumpkin. Abstract nouns, abstract nouns are the names of things that have not existed physically or we cannot touch them. Examples, Sadness, happiness, courage, danger. Countable nouns, countable nouns are the nouns which can be counted. Examples, a ball, two balls, four balls. A dog, two dogs, four dogs. An airplane, two airplanes, four airplanes. Countable nouns are divided into two parts, singular nouns and plural nouns, singular nouns, a singular noun is a noun that is used to call just one person, animal, place, or thing. Examples, a ship, a bird, an airplane, an umbrella, a computer, a book, an apple, and a dog. Remember, we have to use a or an before a singular noun. When a noun is started with a consonant letter, we should use a before that noun. Examples, a bicycle, a book, a pen, a desk, a chair, a computer, a man, a boy, and a cat. Remember, when a noun is started with a vowel letter, we should use an before that noun. Examples, an apple, an orange, an egg, an uncle, and an ice cream. Plural nouns, plural nouns are used to call more than one person, place, thing, or animals. Examples, pens, books, computers, hats, eggs, oranges, apples, chairs and desks. We usually use s at the end of a singular noun to change it into a plural noun. Star, stars. Spoon, spoons. Hat, hats. Photo, photos. Room, rooms. Uncountable nouns, uncountable nouns are nouns that cannot be counted. We need to use measure words for quantifying them. Examples, oil, yogurt, water a liter of oil. Two kilos of yogurt. Collective nouns, collective nouns are the name of a group of people, animals, or things. Examples, a family, a group, a team, and a band. Compound nouns are nouns that are made of two or more words. They are also called noun plus noun or adjective plus noun. Examples, bus stop, handball, full moon, mother-in-law, software. Masculine nouns, masculine nouns are the nouns that are used for calling men, boys, or male animals. Examples, boy, man, prince, waiter. Feminine nouns, 
feminine nouns are the nouns that are used for calling women, girls, or female animals. Examples, girl, waitress, queen, princess. Neuter nouns, neuter nouns are the nouns that are used to call things that are neither male nor female. Examples, chair, lake, leaf, floor, wind, clock. Possessive nouns, possessive nouns are nouns that show a person, place, or thing's ownership of something. They always have an apostrophe s at the end. Examples, John's bag. Melissa's favorite doll. Pluralization of the nouns. In pluralization of the nouns, we can face two types of nouns. Regular and irregular nouns. Regular nouns. Regular nouns are nouns that follow the rule of putting s or es at the end to change into plural form. Examples, keyboard, keyboards. Fork, forks. Irregular nouns. Irregular nouns are nouns that do not follow the rule of putting s or es at the end to change them into plural form, instead, they change their form. Examples, child, children. Man, men. Foot, feet. Mouse, mice. Ox, oxen. Now we are going to talk about how to change a singular noun into a plural noun. Rules, most of nouns just take s or es at the end to change into plural form. Examples, window. Windows. Bicycle, bicycles. Star, stars. Dish, dishes. When a singular noun ends with ch, sh, s, ss, or x we usually put es at the end to change them into plural form. For example, fox, foxes. Watch, watches. Dish, dishes. Dress, dresses. Bus, buses. When a singular noun ends with y, we usually change y into i and then add es at the end to change them into plural form. Examples, story, stories. Baby, babies. Candy, candies. Library, libraries. But if there is a vowel before the letter y, then we just add s at the end. Examples, key, keys. Turkey, turkeys. Toy, toys. Valley, valleys. When a singular noun is ending with f, we usually change f to v and then add es. Examples, leaf, leaves. Calf, claves. Wolf, wolves. Shelf, shelves. Thief, thieves. But there are some irregular nouns that do not follow this rule so we just add s at the end of them to change them into plural form. Examples, cliff, cliffs. Roof, roofs. Sheriff, sheriffs. Handkerchief, handkerchiefs. For some nouns which end with O, we use S, and for some others, we use ES to change them into plural forms. Using S for the nouns ending with O, a kangaroo, kangaroos. A video, videos. A zoo, zoos. Using ES for the nouns ending with O, a flamingo, flamingos. A tomato, tomatoes. A potato, potatoes. A hero, heroes. But for some singular nouns ending with O, we can use both S or ES to change them into plural form. Examples, a zero, zeros, zeros. A mango, mangoes, mangoes. A buffalo, buffaloes, buffaloes. Some nouns are called irregular nouns. They do not follow the rule of putting S, ES, IES, or VES, instead their form is changed. Examples, foot, feet. Tooth, teeth. Child, children. Man, men. There are some nouns whose singular and plural forms are the same. Examples, sheep, sheep. Fish, fish. Deer, deer. Bison, bison. The last rule, some nouns are always in their plural forms. Example, pants, shorts. Jeans, trousers. Thank you for choosing us for watching. Please, don't forget to like and subscribe for more videos.